Okay, this will be a quick video, mainly to ID a plant that is flowering right now in the area. Um, I'm doing this video because I found it in the woods between my house and my neighbor's house and I thought it was pretty so I pulled it up and planted it in my little crocus bed here that needs some, some more flowers. When I got done planting it, I went inside with the pictures I took of it and tried to ID it. I used Google Photos little thing, Google Goggles, I don't forget what it's called, but it looks at pictures and tells you what it thinks it is, and it ID'd it as cow parsnip. So then I started looking at pictures of cow parsnip and trying to read about it, and everything was saying, oh my gosh, it's so poisonous, it's worse than poison ivy, don't touch it. So I quickly made a post with the pictures in my local gardening group, said please tell me this isn't cow parsnip, and I hopped in the shower, which is why my hair is wet right now. <laughs> Ends up, this is something called Colt's Foot. It has these pretty little flowers, and everything says that they're going to be yellow, but right now they're white. Um, nice thick stalk, and very interesting leaves couple more over there. I only moved three of them. I only moved three of them because the area that they were growing in, it was obvious that they spread pretty um, easily. So I, I only moved three of them and uh, I figured they'd fill in pretty quickly. They're a native plant, so they're not really invasive, but they are, they spread easily. They, they, they spread very, very quickly and very well. So I've got them in the, uh, the ring area and hopefully they won't spread out of this area. I have no idea if deer will eat them. Um, they are in the area that the deer walk through. So I'm guessing if the deer ate them, then they would be <laughs> eaten and they're not. So that's really why I moved them here because they were a pretty plant growing that the deer didn't eat. <laughs> so yeah, if you have a wild area that is shaded and kind of moist and you need plants to fill that area, Colt's Foot is apparently a very great plant for that. I will have the uh, Latin name, the scientific name, I don't know if that's the same thing, but I'll have the Latin name for it in the bottom corner here as well for you to look up because I did find other plants named Colt's Foots that didn't look anything like this plant. So yeah, I just put them here with my crocuses. We'll see if they live. Um, it may not be shady enough for them, but we'll find out, huh? <laughs>